Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Forex Pro Academy. I'm so happy and I'm glad to have you here. Yeah. My name is Scott Power, HRV. I'm a Forex trader, I'm a life coach, and to the glory of God, a lot of people have graduated from this place. And sincerely, they are doing well. Now, you'll be wondering, what exactly do we have for this program? Very simple. Just give me a minute, let me share my screen. For day one, I'm very sure you can see my screen. For day one, we'll be looking into the introductory aspect of Forex trading. Day one, we'll be looking into what? The introductory aspect of what? Of Forex trading. Now, also, I'll talk about exchange rates. I'll dive into fundamental analysis. I'll talk about technical analysis. Day two, which is probably tomorrow, I'll talk about pips, lots, leverage, brokers, platforms, and charting softwares. I'll go into types of traders, swing, day, position, scalp. I'll now look into technical analysis. Now, day three. That day is actually the day we conduct practicals. What do we do? We use one of the participants' phone to teach the class. But guess what? For day three, I'll be backing that particular day up with a material, and I'll teach you the full analysis of what MetaTrader for. And talk about partial closing, to stop it, to trade it, so on and so forth. The last day of the beginner's class, We'll look into how to manage our trades, the use of my FX book, Forex Factory, Trading View, then trading strategies that work. I'll teach you all of this. Let's dive into what we have for today. Let's dive into what we have for today. For today, you'll probably be wondering what are we doing? But before I start, if you know you can hear me clearly, can you type one in the chat box? If you know you can hear me perfectly, can you type one in the chat box? I can hear God's power clearly. Can you type one in the chat box? Mr. Chime, say, can you hear me clearly, please? Yes, please. Okay, you can hear me clearly, right? Yeah, you yeah. say what? Okay, Mr. Emmanuel also I said. I can hear you clearly. Okay, thank you, sir. Let's proceed. Forex. What exactly is Forex? Forex is foreign exchange and it's the largest financial market. Oh, we have, that is on my right. We have my current, um, is the largest financial market where currencies are bought, sold, and and exchange for one another. Or like, for example, stock markets. That's those centralized exchange and transactions are performed over the counter. That is participant trading with one another with a worldwide network of banks, brokers, and other financial institutes. It is one of the mostly actively traded markets in the world with an average daily volume of $5 trillion. Class. I must tell you tonight that virtually $5.2 trillion is dropped daily in the forest market. The question is, how much will you and I profit from? Are you thinking, how much are we going to profit from this? Probably today, you can decide to just and um, um, profit $2, which is something. You can get $5, which is something. Are you thinking? And this is something that has been constant daily. Are you doing? Now, so many people always wonder that, okay, this trading, how does it work? It works with both fundamental and technical analysis. When I, when I get to the end of this class, I will explain that deeply. Let's proceed. Forex is simply traded 245. When I mean 245, I mean it is traded from Mondays to Fridays. There is no time you ever trade Forex pairs for Saturdays and Sundays. 
The only thing I know you trade for Saturdays and Sundays are cryptocurrencies. Are you with me? Now, what section are we looking at? We are looking at the time zone, rather. We, look, we are looking at the London, New York, Tokyo, Zurich, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, and Sydney. Now, the specific time at, that this can be done is distinguished between three sections. The Asia section, European section, and what the American section. Now, what I have said, the question is, what do we do exactly in Forex? What do we do exactly? This is it. You either buy or you sell. I repeat, you either buy or you sell. If you look at the two animals, the one with the green is the bull. The bull is for the buyers. And the polar bear, which is white, is for the what? Is what? Is for the sellers. Now, let me tell you something, class. If you observe, these two animals are opposing themselves. It's simply an indication that the buyers and the sellers, they never move in one direction. Rather, they fight against themselves to see who will win in that particular market. Like if you're in Euro USD trade today, the buyers, they came into the market after a whole long consolidation in the market. The buyers, went, they came into the market. Now, what Forex is also all about is, I have a currency pool. For instance, I have Naira. Okay, let's say I have 40,000 Naira. You know, right now, dollar is really going up seriously. And in the first market, it is probably like 495 Naira. Now, I can convert my 495 Naira to $100. I used to remember in those days, <laughs> way back in those days, a dollar then was one thing. Even less than that, what am I even saying? So, in fact, there was a time when the value of Naira was higher. Even as I speak to you, in my own dollar account, I didn't want to withdraw from it. Why? Because as it's going up, it's it's profit on its own. It's just like the cryptocurrency seem to look like. I agree. Now, what am I saying? In essence, if you have hundred dollars, hundred dollars, I probably have for for nine thousand naira. I want to get hundred dollars. What do I do? I go for this local exchange, or I go to the bank. I go to anywhere. I give them my hundred dollars, my for nine thousand naira, and they give me hundred dollars. That's forex. You are simply exchanging currency. What currency are we talking about? We are talking about Naira. We are talking about what? Dollar. Let's proceed. Who trades Forex? You must have asked yourself this question. Am I eligible to trade Forex? Every living soul is eligible to work to trade Forex. And the people that, the major body that usually trade Forex, they are who? It is what? The central bank. The central bank are the major body that are in charge of what forex. When we talk about central bank, what bank are we looking at? We are looking at European Central Bank. We are looking at Central Bank of Nigeria. We are looking at Bank of Canada, Bank of America, Bank of England, Bank of Japan. These bodies you see, they trade forex. Now, can you tell the subordinate banks, the banks that support, they are the commercial banks. Example of commercial banks are what? Echo Bank, Keystone Bank, Polaris Bank, Zenit, Dante Trust Bank, JP Morgan. All of all these, they what? They trade Forex. Who else can handle this Forex? In investment managers, hedge funds, multinational corporations, they can also what? Handle all of this. Now, the last set of people that usually come into this, which never existed in those days, they are the individual investors. Who are the individual investors? They are you, they are simply you and I, the people that we know that how much is their money in the forex market. Their money is not so large. Are you with me? So these are the individual investors. They tra also trade for it. They are also yes. called the retail tra traders. The retail traders are also the people that, that are just like the individual investors. They are simply what you. And now, I prepared the flow chart. Why? Because I felt that the flow chart will work. Look at the center of that flow chart. We have the central bank. The central banks are like the major, the, you know, in, in Barcelona, Messi is a strong man in the two. Just like the strong, the strong man in, the, in, in this financial institute. The major banks are the commercial banks. 
all those Echo Bank, Kisto Bank, so on and so forth. Now, another set can be what? It is uh, the brokers. Look at it. The major bank connects to the ECN brokers. Look at this side. Major bank connects to the market makers. And who, who are the last people handling these, um, these things? They are the retail traders. Look at the retail traders at the extreme. Here you have the uh, market makers. They are also at the extreme. Here you have ECN brokers. And that is a flowchart for it. But once you should always have in mind is we have this, um, we have the central bank, we have the commercial bank, we have the multinational corporations, and we have what the retail traders. Now, let's talk about currencies. You know, normally currencies are like example of currencies are currency is simply what the notes or the fiat that we simply spend in our what in our country. For instance, the fiat that uh, 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 United States of America is spent is what USD. What uh, Singapore is spent is Singaporean dollar. What Nigeria we spend is called what naira. And what um, Japanese they spend is what yen. What Chinese they spend is what yuan. Are you? Don't worry. I'll I'll give you a link when you when you are consistent with this class. I'll give you a link. That will tell you the 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 the, the, uh, the acronyms that gives you the real acronyms that you understand all of all this. For instance, now if you look at a country like uh, Mexico, what do you think Mexico they spend? They spend peso. Are you with me? Mexico they spend peso. Let's proceed. It's currencies. There are two types of currencies in forex. The first is the currency of the currency pair is called the base currency. And the second currency is called it the quote currency. Currency pair compares the value of one country currency to another. I repeat, currency pairs compares the value of one currency to another. Now, the base currency is the first one, and versus the second, which is what the quote currency. Now, if you take a good look at what I have here, you observe that. I have Euro USD. I repeat, I have Euro USD. Euro is spent by Europeans, and USD is spent by who? By United States of America. Now, Euro is the first, is the base currency, because according to what we defined by the base currency, we said it is the first listed currency. USD is spent by who? Unite the Americans. Are you doing? USD is spent by who? By the Americans. Now, class, look at the next one GPP AUT. I repeat, GPP AUT. GPP is Great Britain Pounds. GPP is what? Great Britain Pounds. GPP is spent by who? By the Britain. If you go to UK today, they spend Great Britain Pounds. AUD is, is what? Um, spent by Australian dollar. GPP is the um, base currency. AUD is the code currency. Let me repeat myself again. Euro USD. Euro is the base currency. USD is the code currency. GPP USD. GPP is the base currency. AUD is what? The code currency. Now, for the last one, XAU US, I need the class to use, use the chat box and do it just two minutes, please. Because we still have a lot of things to do. XAU USD. For those that did chemistry in school, please are not intimidated. The symbol for AU is gold. I repeat, this, the symbol for gold rather is AU. Now, can you tell me the base currency and the quote currency looking at XAU USD? Can you tell me the base currency and what and the code currency? Looking at XAU USD. Okay, Mr. Alayinka. Mr. Alayinka. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah good evening. Yeah, how with you? Mr. Sorry. Alayinka, I'm with you. Speak, I'm listening. Okay. Yeah. Since you can't hear the man clearly, 
So please use the chat box. Can you tell me the base currency and the coast currency for XAU USD? Can you tell me the base currency for XAU USD? Can you tell me the base currency for XAU USD? Are you with me? Okay. All right. The base currency for XAUSD is XAU, and the quote currency is what? United States dollar. The base currency is XAU, and the quote currency is what? United States dollar. All right, let's proceed. Exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate at which one country, at which one country will be exchanged for another. It is also regarded as the value of one country's currency in relation to another currency. One believe that one country currency will rise against another currency, we buy. Now, and we sell the weak currency. Another reason why exchange rate moves so fast may result to multi-billionaire companies that need to convert large amounts of money into another country's currency. Now, if, for instance, in Turkey, Turkey is, the country is peaceful. Everybody would like to invest in Turkey. By what? Take your money from this place and you go and spend in Turkey. Well, for instance, Turkey is not peaceful. Nobody would like to go to Turkey. Are you with me? Where am I going to exactly? If you look at, Please, I want to beg the class for something. If you are muted in the class, please don't unmute yourself, please. I repeat, don't unmute yourself. Now, if you, let's go straight to, the, to this. Let's say I have Euro USD. Now for Euro USD, let's say Euro. Of course, we know Euro is higher than United States dollar. Let's say Euro is 600. I'm assuming of this. And United States dollar is what? 400. Geomathematics very well. 600 divided by 400. Do my math is very 600 divided by 400 will give you 5, 1.5. Probably, let's say I'm giving it 1.50000. Class, I want to say something quickly. This class, I'll be dropping you the videos and I'll drop the videos. I'm recording it right now. So, for those people that are not really around, I understand work and some other things doesn't allow you to meet up with eight, 26. I mean, for those people that are not around, sorry, for eight, I'll probably drop the video so that I can watch. But please, I beg you for something. Once you watch this video, just click on the subscribe button, please. I agree. Once you watch on this, on this video, you can just watch, like the video or you can just click on the subscribe button. Now, for Euro USD, Euro USD gives us what? 1.5000. What if one hour later, Mr. Chimese goes to the market and he discovers that Euro has increased by 100. And that's 700. 700 to what? 400. Now, 700 to 400. My is seven hundred to four hundred. That will be what? Zero cancel zero. Now if zero should cancel zero. If you do math, math is zero. Seven divided by four. That will give you one point one point um, seven five. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm assuming that. Let's say you have one point seven five zero zero zero. Now, class. Whenever a currency pair, especially the base currency, 
increases from probably from 600 to 700. What are you supposed to do? Remember that it has increased from 600 to 700. What are you supposed to do, class? You are supposed to buy this currency pair. Remember, I told you that there are two things you do in the forest market. You either buy or what? Or you sell. You probably what? Buy this currency pair. I've had people making arguments over time about this thing I'm explaining. Of course, if 600 is increasing to 700, are you with me? If 600 is increasing to 700, then you don't expect 400 to be increasing. 400 will be what? Will probably be decreasing. You know, I said something to you previous, maybe you've forgotten, that those two animals facing themselves is an indication of opposition. That the buyers are buying at that moment, are what? And the sellers are what? We sell at another point. So you buy at this point. Let's say Mr. Who is in the house again? Let's say probably Mr. Razak. Mr. Razak notifies me that, ah, gospel. Euro has drops in the market. Maybe he notifies me that Euro, has, Mr. Razak, please, can you mute yourself? Maybe he informs me that Euro has dropped in the market. It has dropped from 600 to 500. Remember that the quote is 400. Geo mathematics very well. This will give you what? 500 divided by 400 will give you 1.25000. Now, this is an indication that what? That Euro USD has dropped in the market. In this case, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to what? Sell. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to sell. Let me repeat myself again. I started with, let's say you have an exchange rate. And the exchange rate is Euro USD. I now say that. What if the exchange, the Euro, you know when I mean Euro is 600, it means Euro to Naira is 600. What if Euro to Naira is 600 and USD to Naira is 400? I did that simple mathematics and it was 1.50000. I asked a question. I said that, what if you got an information that Euro has increased? Let's say probably Euro has increased from 600 um, to, see that's from Euro to Naira is now 700. What does that mean? It means that you are to buy Euro USD. Are you with me? It means that what? You are to buy Euro USD. I also give another notification. I said, what if Euro should drop in the market? Let's say probably Euro is now going for 600 to 500. What are you supposed to do in that case? You are supposed to what? Sell in that case. You are supposed to what? Sell in that case. That's because Euro has reduced from 600 to 500. Euro has increased from what? From 600 to 500. So that's that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to the next phase. Now, the next phase is fundamental and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forest market by analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect currency prices. The idea behind this type of analysis is that if a country's currency or future economic outlook is good, its countries should strengthen. Now, the better shape a country's economy is, the more foreign businesses and investors will invest in that country. Remember I said something earlier, that if a country is okay, more investors will go. If, for instance, in Brazil, for instance, in Brazil, what people need right there is cocoa. They need cocoa, seriously, in Brazil. And I have cocoa at the back of my house, so easy. What do I do? I take my, my bags of cocoa. I supply to Brazil. Are you with me? I'm investing over there. Look at what is happening. Everybody is seeing Bitcoin now as a source. Everybody is seeing Bitcoin as a source that virtually you can virtually invest in Bitcoin. So what do you think they will do? 
they will virtually what take their money and buy when it is low and they will sell when it is high. It's a very simple mathematics. If Mr. Chimese has one million, he puts one million into Bitcoin. Let's say at the point where he puts one million into it, you will notice that if it now increases by four, he's going to get four million. I mean, the man is having a profit of three million. So fundamental analysis is very simple. You must be able to analyze the news, check what is happening. I used to tell people something. The economic outlook, look at what happened in coronavirus and time. That was a sad last year. People made bastard money from Forex. I hate it. Why? Because they can predict if it's fine, if the, the, if the market is good and the market is bad. Political forces, when Trump and um, Donald um, Joe Biden, they were disturbing the market seriously, probably around January. What do you notice? The market was also what? Favorable to so many traders. I meet the, the, to glory of God. It was profitable to me too. I hear me. So it's a way of checking the news. But don't worry. Day three, I will check your good site at which you will be able to what use to make analysis. I hear me. I'll give you good site at which you'll be able to use to make analysis. Now, technical analysis is a study of price pattern on particular assets. There are many ways to identify patterns in the market. Or most, most technicians will focus on the following. Technical analysts are those people that they will take their charts, trading view, and make analysis. And the analysis can support and resistance, and they can just use that to pick their trade. Like throughout last week, I didn't need to use fundamental analysis. I have been what I've been using technical analysis to what to pick my trades. I have come to the end of today's class. Let me repeat myself one more time. For those that didn't meet me quickly, my name is Remens Gospajanregi, and I promise you that I'll be dropping you a video on YouTube. And please don't forget to subscribe to that um, to that channel. So, is there any question in the house before we go? Please, we just have very few minutes now. Is there any question in the house before we go? Hello, you can drop ask your questions now. Is there any question in the house before I go? Hello, is there any question in the house before I go? Hello, is there any question in the house before I go? Hello? Yes, thank yes. you, sir, for... Yes. I can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. Hello. I can hear you, Mr. Chimizu. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. So your question. All right, thank you. Um, so so far, so good. I I have learned um what you have taught us, but I want to ask some. Mm. Go on, I'm with you. Go on. How do you know? Yes, yes. How do you know when to buy? As in practically, are you going to show us practically on how to on how to use this as in the app? I will teach you practically, sir. If you are consistent with this class, I will teach you practically. If you are consistent with this class, are you with me, sir? Hello. Yes, I am with you. I'm with now, you. secondly, the, in, the question yes, you asked is that how do you know when to buy? You know when to buy after you have made your analysis. You know when to buy after you have what made your what analysis. Are you with me? You know when to buy when you are true with your analysis, which I will explain to you in subsequent classes. Yes. Mr. Mane dropped a question. Do you have any other question again? Mr. Chilize, please, you have any other question again? Mr. Ch okay. Mr. Emmanuel asked a question. He said, I think technical analysis is better. Technical analysis is far better. Do you know why? Technical analysis is a way of making your predictions and going and rest. See, fundamental analysis is not funny. Because you must be so consistent to the news. What's the latest updates are you before you leave the, before you you um what they call it 
before you make your analysis. Hmm? So is there any other question again in the house, please? Is there any other question in the house? Hello, sir. Yes, I'm with you, Mr. Amanda. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, everybody. Mm, good evening, sir. Yeah, I, I think the way I'm seeing it now, I think uh, it is good if one can be consistent with particular um, currency peers, mm. like the Euro USD mm. or the just two that one can be sure that you understand uh, they are, the way they have they are being doing in the market than just moving from this one to that one to that one to that one. Mm. I want to believe it is good to stick to two or three peers. Mm. You see, this is man, that okay? This man has made a very good suggestion. I remember when I was practicing, when I was still newbie, like I knew nothing about forex then. There were some currency pairs that if I trade them, I'll regret it. Are you with me? Why? Because they might come my way, but it take some time. It's very correct. Like me, if I show you all the profits I made today, they were mostly on major currency pairs. And what are the examples of major currency pairs? GPP USD, Euro USD, Euro GPP, USD CHF, USD card. All of them were major um, currency pairs. Even me, I like working with the USDs. The USDs are GPP USD, Euro USD, NCT USD, USD card, USD CHF. Aside that, you never see me trading something like GPP CHF or GPP. Sometimes I trade CHF JPY, but I rarely trade strange currency pairs. It's very correct. That is why, if you are consistent with this class, I'll teach you those things. You should be able to know the currency pair that works for you. Are you with me? You should be able to what? Know the currency pair that works for you. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, class. Mr. Emmanuel, is that clear to you? Mr. Emmanuel, is that clear to you? Very clear, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you'll be available for tomorrow's class. By God's grace. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. I'm, a, I'm enjoying the class. Oh, I appreciate this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right, thank you, everybody. We will surely meet tomorrow thank by you, the sir. grace of God. Yes, sir, at 8 p.m. So see you tomorrow, and God bless you. Good night. Bye. Yeah, bye.